we're back to talk about the second most important lifting accessory you should buy, and that is a belt. Though we recommend purchasing shoes utmost and foremost, people who've been training through their linear progression will want to look at getting a lifting belt after the first month or so. The one exception to this is if you have a significant history of back pain or injury. We definitely recommend a belt and using a belt sooner for this type of individual. One of the most important things to learn as you begin to lift weights is how to set your back in isometric contraction to safely protect the spine and transmit the force of the weight into the movement of the barbell. Once you've learned how to do this skill, a belt can help increase the ability of our trunk muscles to brace. It's not cheating, and it's not a crutch. It's giving your abs and trunk something to push against, which helps increase tightness. The belt should also not give you a false sense of confidence. The belt can make things feel tighter, and it can be easy to think you have your back set when it's actually not. This is why belts are not recommended for brand new lifters. It is best to take the time to learn to control your low back position before beginning to use a belt. And even when you have begun to use one, you need to do the hard work of setting your back. If you let your back flex into the belt on a squat, for example, you can really make your ribs sore later. You are still in control of your spine. Not all belts are created equal. Because of the way we are using the belt to brace our entire trunk, we want to choose a belt that has a uniform width. A belt that is tapered in the front will not lend itself to giving uniform tension around the trunk. A belt that is leather and 10 millimeters thick is ideal also as it is rigid enough for the abs to push hard against without a lot of give. You can purchase a custom made belt, which comes in a variety of colors and can even be personalized from such companies as Best Belts, Bob's Belts, and Pioneer Belts. These belts usually take about 12 weeks to get made and sent to you, so plan accordingly. You can also purchase a belt in standard sizes such as small, medium, large, extra large, etc from companies such as Dominion, Rogue Fitness, Inzer, Titan. These belts have a much faster turnaround time and are still a good quality belt if you don't want the long lead times of uh, the custom belt companies. One of the biggest decisions that you'll make in purchasing a belt is the width. Belts come in four inch, three inch, and two and a half inch widths. The width of belt that is right for you depends on your build, particularly the length of your trunk and the width of your hips. In general, taller people can wear a wider belt, but that is dependent on trunk length. Many females with curvier hips may need the three inch or two and a half inch belt to not have the belt sliding around on their hips. We tend to prefer a wider belt for squats and presses and a slightly narrower belt for deadlifts with most people. This can be especially true if you're newer to wearing a belt. Lever belts and two prong belts work well too, though they can be harder to get on and adjust for exact tightness. The best belt for a beginner is your single prong belt. The belt should be worn tightly right around your belly button or natural waist. Way too many folks are wearing their belt too loose. In fact, if you don't want to take the belt off as soon as you're finished the set, it probably isn't tight enough. The belt isn't comfortable and it's typical to get a little sore from starting to use one, especially to experience some soreness in your abs. This doesn't mean that you did something wrong. If you were someone who bruises easily, you may notice some bruising after the first week or so that you use it. That being said, the belt should also not be too tight. If it makes you feel lightheaded to take a deep breath or that you really have to elongate your trunk to put it on, it's probably too tight. Once the belt is on, you're going to set your back as you normally would for your lifts. Bracing the abs as though someone is going to punch you. You don't want to push your abs actively out into the belt as this will cause flexion in the low back and make it harder to keep a neutral spine. For most individuals, it's best to begin your warm-ups without a belt and add it in on a last warm-up set or two before the work set. An exception to this would be someone who has a history of back issues. That person may want to wear the belt on every warm-up set after the empty bar. When worn correctly, the belt should make the bar feel lighter because you have reached a new level of tightness and therefore your spine is going to transmit force very efficiently. You can get very strong without a belt though, and this is why if finances are an issue, choose your shoes first. The cost of a belt is going to range from 50 to several hundred dollars, depending on what custom features you may want to choose for your belt. What are your favorite lifting accessories? Let us know your recommendations in the comments down below. 
Hey everybody, I wanna to talk to you about my favorite belt on the market right now, and that's from Dominion Strength. Now we talked a little bit about Dominion in our belt video, but this belt has come out just in the last few weeks and I absolutely love it. The difference between the belts that Dominion was putting out in the past and the one they're putting out now is the ones from the past were made overseas and the ones now are made in the United States. And by Blake, the owner of Dominion Strength specifically, and you really see a big giant step up in quality here. And so it's a three inch belt, uh, which is great for us. So there's lots of room to deadlift in them. Uh, it's 10 millimeters wide, nice, thick, beautiful piece of leather here, double suede on each side, wonderful skived edges. So very clean edges all the way down, four stitch lines, not just around the holes, but actually all the way down the entire belt. Um, a beautiful buckle here, so a, a nice big, thick, seamless roller, a thick pin, Chicago screw rivets, which are fantastic, about the heaviest duty rivets you can get. And this is gonna be a belt that you'll have for life. And the amazing thing is, this belt should be selling somewhere around 150 bucks, but it sells for $95, and better yet, for our subscribers and starting for online coaching clients, you can actually go to dominionstrengthtraining.com and you can put in the promotional code five off, F-A-H-V-E-O-F-F -F, to get 5% off this belt. And here's the best thing about this belt. This is probably the highest quality belt on the market and you'll get it in two to three days. That's the advantage of only selling one belt, one color, this beautiful natural suede color, it's wonderful buy one of these 90 bucks with the discount you can't beat it get it in three days and you're off and training with the best belt on the market so go see them at dominionstrengthtraining.com